Hey, let's do some SketchUp. I have already loaded up my edu.sketchup.com and I've logged in and we're going to create just a really basic model here. Uh, this is our first practice project. We just need three groups. Uh, we can get rid of this uh, strange guy. It looks like he's kind of a, a cross between the uh, 70s and the 90s. I'm not sure here. We'll delete him. Three basic things we need to know if, when we're building for getting started is RPG, Rectangle Push Group. First operation is rectangle. I'll use the R on the keyboard. And notice as I move around, I've got that blue box is telling me that I'm perpendicular to that blue axis. I'm going to go click, drag, click, and I can type in some coordinates or, or dimensions. So we'll use 10 comma 10 for this. That'll make it 10 inches by 10 inches. Second operation is push. So we'll use P on the keyboard, click, drag, click, and we'll type one, enter, to make it one inch tall. So we've done rectangle, we've done a push. The third thing I need to do is make a group out of this. If I don't make a group, crazy things are gonna happen. I'll use the space bar to create my editing tool, and I'm going to triple click this to select the whole thing, right click, and tell it to make group. If you're on a Chromebook, to do a right click, you're just gonna tap the trackpad with both fingers open up your context menu, and now I have this group. And now it acts as one solid. So I need a total of three groups for this first assignment. So let's just do our same repeat process. Rectangle push group, R for rectangle. I'm going to snap to a corner right there. Click, drag, click. Let's make it two by two. So I'll type two comma two on the keyboard. Enter, P for push. I'm gonna click, drag, click. Let's make it six inches tall. And we need to make this into a group. So I'll hit the space bar for my select tool, triple click to select the whole thing, right click, make a group. And one more time, and each time, each and every time you make a rectangular prism, you need to group it. Rectangle, click, drag, click. We'll make it four by four. P for push, click, drag, and let's make it the same height as this one here. Space bar, triple click, right click, make a group. Rectangle push group every single time. Okay, let me show you really quick what happens if you don't do that. So there's my three groups. I can tell I have three groups because I click on this and the whole entire thing lights up. I can click on that and all of, the, all of that shows selected. Same thing right there. So I have three unique groups. Let's go over here and do it wrong. I'll do a rectangle and a push. And I'm not going to group these. I'm gonna do another rectangle and a push. And notice right away these don't look like two unique things that actually drug that shape out. One more time, a rectangle and a push. Now, let's say I wanna move this around. If I grab this object over here and the part that's, cor that's correctly grouped, I can type the M key for move and I can move that to another corner. I can select this piece, M for move and grab that to a different corner. Everything's nice and neat, moves around. Like let's say this was a table. I'm looking at the bottom of it and I wanna move this in like this is a leg. I can select this, type move, move it in a little bit that way and a little bit that way, easy peasy. Now if I try to do that here, if I click this and try to move it, I can move that face around. What if I move this face? Okay, or I can maybe grab an edge and move that. Now weird stuff starts happening. It's just stretching and twisting my whole thing, but I can't just grab this thing that I want to be a leg and move it. And like if I go off axis and all sorts of weird stuff happens. Now there's a, there's a time and a place you might want to do this, but if I want to treat these like I were doing a woodworking project, and have each one of these three things be a separate piece of wood. That's just not going to work for me. 
So let's just triple click that, delete that whole thing. For this assignment, what I would like to see is three unique groups. When I look at this, I want to see each one highlighted in blue. Make sure you start fresh each time. It's really easy to group different things in together. Sometimes you have to undo and go back. So there you go, in a nutshell.